right, hi guys. Welcome back to the Upside Down Art Studio. Um, today we're gonna do a drawing project. We're gonna be drawing some insects. We've been noticing that the bugs are back. We've been outside and the ants are back and the bees are happily buzzing in Malcolm's tree outside his window. And um, so we're gonna do a symmetry drawing project and we're gonna talk about the differences between insects and some other things that we see outside that we call bugs, um, but they are not insects, they're other types of things. Um, so you're gonna need paper and pencil and some things to color with and we'll get started. Sound good? You ready? Yeah. All right. Okay, so we are gonna be looking at the parts of an insect and here is a drawing of an insect, just kind of a generic insect. Um, and we're gonna look at some different types in a minute, but all insects have certain parts. So you can see he's got the head. You wanna to point to the head, Bubba? Mm-hmm. And the eyes, two eyes, one, two. They've got the things on top of their head, which we call the feelers or the antenna. You see his little antenna and feelers up there pointing off his head, Bubba? You want to point to those? Yep. Yeah, one. How many has he got? One, two. two. Mm -hmm. And insects have six legs, and that's very important. That's one way you can tell if it's an insect or not. So can you see his legs, Bubba? Can you count them for me? Show them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Very good. And then some insects have wings. Not all of them. Um, some of the wings you can see, like a butterfly or a fly or a dragonfly or a moth. And then some insects have them hidden under a shell. So a lot of times beetles um, can fly. They actually open their wings, or I'm sorry, they open their shell and the wings come out. And you can look on that if you want to look up a YouTube video and, and see um, a video, uh, like a time lapse of a ladybug flying. It looks really, really cool. Yeah. Okay. Like yeah, ladybugs, they have the shell. Yeah. When they're flying, they like open it up and it feels like it looks really that cool. I wonder what sound would be in like ultrasonic. Like, I know. Hear, that'd I, be I, cool. I feel like it would be like a splitting. It would be. Ugh. All right. So, what would be the other parts then? So, we've got the forewing and the hindwing. And then we're going to look at the body. And this is really important too. So, they've got the head. Where's the head, Bubba? Yep. And then this middle part, which is called the thorax. Thorax, yes. And then the end part, which is called the, the abdomen. Abdomen. Very good. So three parts. So their body has three segments. One, two, three. Head, thorax, head, abdomen. Thorax. And, mm -hmm, and six legs. So that's really important because when we're looking at another type of crawly, creepy thing that we call bugs, there's some other ones. For example, an arachnid. How many legs does that arachnid have? Eight. 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 And how many body parts does it have? Does it have three? It has more than three. No. It has two or three. Well, don't count these little things. We're just going to count this one and this one. It's got a head. It and it's got and, it has an abdomen. and an abdomen, right? So there's no there's no thorax. There's just the head and the abdomen. So there's only two parts. So if you're looking at something, wondering if it's like a beetle or an insect or if it's an arachnid, a spider, um, the arachnid has two body parts and eight legs, and the insect has three body parts and six legs. So it's, that's one big difference. And then it's got this little spinneret here, where it yeah. shoots out its. Two. What comes out of the spinneret, do you think? The spider web. The spider Make web. Yeah. Snake spider yep. web. Yeah. Okay. You know, and then you know. this one over here. Okay, and then okay. sometimes we see something creepy crawly, but it doesn't have legs and it doesn't have any kind of body parts. Yeah. It's one big long slimy thing called a worm. A worm. Yeah. And a worm is in a class yeah. called annelids. So those are completely different, but we all we kind of call all these things bugs, but they're not all insects. They're different classifications. You just bugs. call them bugs. And this one, hoy. Yeah. Our these are millipedes or centipedes and they have a lot of legs, right? Yeah. They have a hundred legs. They have a hundred legs. Wait, let me tell you. So that yeah, would be I a forget how. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One hundred. So those are arthropods. So these are all creepy crawly things that you might see in your backyard or out on a walk. Yeah. Um, but the one that we're going to be focusing on are the insects. Okay. And so I want to show you some different types of insects. Oh, and the other thing on here that's not on this picture is um, the mouth. And so insects will have a mouth and they'll have one, they'll have a couple, they could have a couple different types. So some insects like to chew. And so they'll have, we'll show you on some of the ones we're going to show you. They have um, like pincher teeth. They're called mandibles and they can chew. 
Or they might have it like a straw and they suck. Can you think of any insects that might suck? A butterfly. They do. They mosquitoes. suck the nectar and mosquitoes suck your blood. Uh, and that's called a proboscis. Flies. So they might have a proboscis, like a little straw coming out of their mouth. Yeah, flies do too. They have the proboscis too. Or they might have the, the mandibles for chewing leaves and things. So different types of insects you have different flies? types of things. Horse flies, I think they have teeth. They bite. I don't know. We'll have to look that one up. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so this one is a grasshopper. And grasshoppers, some grasshoppers do have wings. So they jump and they also kind of fly. And when the first time I saw them like that, I was walking through a meadow. And I thought, why are these butterflies in the on the ground jumping all over the place, flying all over the place? But it wasn't. It was grasshoppers. And you're like, wait, grasshoppers have yeah. wings? Yeah, some of them do. Mm -hmm. um, and here's an ant. And so again, you can see the three sections. So, Bob, you want to point to his head? His head's right there. And, then and the six legs. The six legs. I thought this was a leg <laughs> for a minute. Right, and so at first you think, oh, that'd be a spider because there's eight. But no, nope. what are those things on the top? Uh, Antennas. Antennas, yeah. And there's no big head. He's got, a, he's got, that's his big that's head his there. That's his big head. Yeah. You don't see the big head. And then this is his thorax here. And then this is his abdomen there. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then here's a beetle. And sometimes beetles are a little harder to, to tell this the three sections because it's kind of, they look like almost one. But these are three different sections, head, thorax, and abdomen. That's a really cool shape. And he's got his six legs. And this one, you guys know what that one is? It looks like a that's like a bird. Wait, no, no. Um, what a is praying it? mantis. Yes. Yeah, praying mantis. Aren't they cool? Mm -hmm. And uh, it's a little it's disgusting it. one yes, day yes, so start gross. eating. When they start eating, it's like really disgusting. Is it? Yes. And then. I have watched a praying mantis eat a, a, a bee. Oh. I've watched it eat a bee. Oh, I've, oh, watched, wow. oh, I've watched many praying mantises. Oh, gross. Okay, so here is a moth. And sometimes the moths are a little bit tricky because they look like butterflies. Um, but their body's different. The butterfly's going to have a longer body, and the moth has a shorter, fatter, kind of fuzzy body. Yeah. Look at those. But look at, but look at those wings on that one. Do you guys know what this one is? I like the fuzzy one. Um, it's like, it's the, like some, um, some I'm moths. watching like ten most, um, uh, like, um, Disgusting. And you were talking animals, about this and it was one. like a color changing beetle or something. Oh, and I'm going to give you a hint. Phew, P U. Oh, stink bug. Yeah, that's a stink bug. I like the shape of their shell. It looks like like a shield. Yeah, but look, this like a, some some um of these some of them are um, white. Like all white. Yes, some moths are white and some so moths you know are brown. It's a, so so you know it's a moth. Why do you think they're different colors? Some of them, most insects will be colors of the things that they usually live around, so they can yeah. camouflage themselves and they can hide. Yeah. So they might See, look like, like that. This. So they might look like the bark of a tree, or they might look like um, the grass, or they might look like a flower. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. a, or a leaf. But that's a really pretty design. Yeah, do you know what this is? That is a dragonfly. That's a dragonfly, very good. And then we've got a... a bee. Okay, so we've got a really pretty beetle here. How many legs does he have, Bubba? He has six. Yeah, and then we've got our butterfly here. And you can see the body is a little bit different than the moth was. Yeah. A bit it's longer and smoother. More beautiful. And then this is... Oh, it's terrifying. What was this called again, Jonah? A stag beetle? A stag beetle. Look at that mouth. Th those are the mandibles. They're like pinchy. Yeah, so that tells you he's going to he's gonna chew or tear into whatever he's going to eat. And it could be a leaf or it could be another insect. It depends on the type of insect. Okay, so I'm going to leave these here for the kids. And what I would say is um, for this project, you might want to go online and look up some insects. Type in colorful insects, colorful beetles, butterflies, um, and look up some different types of mouth parts and wings and different types of legs. You know, there's different shaped legs, and some of them have hair on their legs. A lot of them have hair on their legs because they're called pollinators, and so they pick up the pollen, especially the bees. Um, they pick up the pollen when they, when they land on plants, and so they help the plants grow. Um, and so they're really, really important to our environment. And sometimes we think, oh, bugs, they're bugging us. But they really are important. And we would not have a lot of the foods that we have without them um, pollinating the crops that we eat. So what we're going to do now for our project is you get to create your own, own insect.
Jonah's already drawn over there. Um, oh, so what I want you to do is it's kind of like your Dr. Frankenstein. So you're going to look at some different types of insects. And you're going to create your own insect, um, taking the parts that look interesting to you. And the only rules are you have to create an insect. So that means it has a head, a thorax, and an abdomen. It has six legs. It could have wings, doesn't have to. Um, it has antenna and some type of mouth, mouth part. So it either has the mandible, the teeth, the pinchers like this, or it has the, um, the proboscis, which I don't see a really good picture of. On any of these, but if you look at a picture, oh, you can see it in the dragonfly there. You see the little thing coming out, his little mm -hmm. yep. Mm -hmm. So you can decide how you want to do that. You could also watch um, so, uh, a show called Bee Movie. Remember Bee Movie? Oh, that yeah. was really good. Mm -hmm. And also A Bug's Life. Or you could just watch something on like National Geographic. There's all kinds of really good things about bugs. Um, so we're going to get started drawing. Okay. So we're going to try filming from this angle today. And the first thing I want you to do, because we're going to be making a symmetrical bug, is I want you to fold your paper in half. And you don't have to fold it real hard, but you want a little crease there just so you know where the center of your paper is. Okay, and that's going to help you get your bug lined up. Now, if you wanted to do your bug the different, a different direction, you could. Do you have to cut um, it out? If, no. If you wanted to do your paper this way, if you wanted to have like a really long bug, it kind of mat it depends on what kind of bug you're planning on doing. If you're planning on doing like a butterfly like this, you might want to have your paper sideways so that you can fit it long ways since it's got big long wings. If you're going to do a longer bug, like where was our praying mantis? You know, if you're going to do one that was longer this way, you would want to have your paper that way. So it's up to you. You can kind of think about that as you're getting started. I'm going to do mine this way. And um, I think at this point, we're going to insert some pictures from some students. So let's take a look at some really pretty examples of some student work um, from back when we were in the classroom. pretty examples um, we're gonna get started on our own and so the first thing I want to do is I want to make sure that I don't draw my head up too high that looks good Bubba because I want to be able to um, have room for my antenna and my wings all right so I'm gonna start my head maybe around here and you can look at different shapes of heads on different um, insects I'm gonna do kind of a just a circle head I think kind of basic you can do any shape you want. So this guy here has kind of an oval head and he's got his big eyes on the side. But if you look at my aunt here, aunt has a real different type shape head, almost kind of squarish on the bottom here. Whoops, there he is. Praying Mantis has this little tiny oval head like that. So it's up to you how how you want to do the shape of your head. And then while I'm at it, I'm going to put some eyes on. I'm going to have mine kind of pop off. And then I'm going to erase right inside here. Oh, that's looking good already, Mary. Okay. So I need three segments. So I've got my head and my eyes. And then I'm going to do my thorax. And I'm going to make it kind of almost like a heart shape. There's my abdomen. I'm doing it from the underside, by the way. And then I'm going to do the thorax. I'm going to kind of bring mine down like this. And just remember that it we want it to be symmetrical, so whatever I do on one side, I have to do on the other side. So far, I'm doing good. I'm Looks symmetrical. good, Jonah. Okay. 
I'm gonna put some antenna coming out. Ooh, this is good. I like yours better. Yours is really creative. Mine's kind of basic, but that's okay. Um, creative. Creative. <laughs> and then I'm gonna put on. I'm gonna put on some wings next. And I kind of like. I kind of like those butter, really crazy butterfly looking ones or moth looking ones. So I'm gonna do. Kind of a wing like that. I'm going to bring it back up here. The wings attach to the thorax. So I don't want wings coming out of my abdomen here. They're coming out of this part here. Ew. So this is going to be my bottom one here. And I'm going to do like a mirror image because um, it is, bugs are symmetrical. Why is this you so big? When do we start this? You can get a piece of paper. So far I got yeah, the two. Erase it. I got two. the two wings or drone propellers on my robot bug. We're looking at the underside again. We're gonna kind of do like underside a bail the bug. bug. Okay. We're gonna do like a bail bug. Ooh. Half bail, half bug. Okay. Ooh. I'm doing a. I'm. I'm doing a robot bug. I'm doing a robot bail bug. And then I'm gonna have another wing come out of here. It's like half, half beast, half bug bail. Yeah. Now another idea you could do is I could fold this over like this. Guys, watch this. And I could. Trace. What do you mean by trace? Mm -hmm, look. I folded it over and I traced what I had on the other side. Now I can see it on this side. With the power of light. Uh huh. You could even, yeah, you could hold it up to a window if you wanted to. So now those are the same. Ooh. And you can see I'm really filling out my paper. I always say that if you've got a big piece of paper, fill it up. If we wanted something this big, we would draw it on a post-it note, right? Wait a minute. Do I, doesn't that mean I have to fold it the other way? It's up to you, depending on how big your wings are going to be. Now, what other parts of an insect do I need on here? I've got the head, the thorax, the abdomen, the antenna, and the wings. I don't have a mouth part. Oh, legs. I'm going to give them a proboscis. And there used to be a game when I was a little kid called Cootie. Man, I loved that game. You had to build insects. You had to build these little cootie bugs. And it came with a head and an abdomen and a thorax and all these little legs and the, the proboscis and the antenna. And you had to put it together um, in the game. I should look that up because that was one of my favorite games as a kid. All right. And then I also need legs. And for the legs, we're going to have the front legs here. And you can be creative with it. They have little spiky things on the end if you want. And this is where you get to get something called some texture. So we want to start to draw things the way that they would feel if we were actually touching them, right? I don't know how many, how much of bugs we go around touching, but we have friends that like to collect bugs and put them on themselves, right? Yeah. Mary's got a friend who likes to take the um, mayflies. Mayflies and put them <laughs> all over herself. She, likes, like, she like wears them like jewelry. I know. It gets me so crazy. Uh, and then she's like, do you want to have one? I'm like, no way. Get it away from me. <laughs> some people like, like Jonah will go around and, um, at school and he will pick up spiders and I don't pick up spiders. crickets you well you grab them on a piece of paper and you let them go don't you yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i mean i've said you don't pick them up bugs. pick them up but i've you see crickets disgusting jonah wanted to have a pet spider but uh yeah no yeah we were like um no i don't know about that but some people do like to have insects as pets. Now, one of the really cool things about insects is the patterns and the textures um, and the colors. I was colors. just doing that. Yeah. So, you know, if you look at this stink bug here, let me get this guy out. There he is. So if I look at the stink bug, his texture was is really going to help him camouflage outdoors, right? It almost looks like the bark of a tree. And this moth here would look um, like she would blend in with flowers. And the praying mantis and the grasshopper would blend in with the leaves and grass. So far, my bug is going good. My my half drone, half robot. Yeah, we'll look at oh, that in just a second, I buddy. About my half I so I want to start to add some patterns. And some of them have stripes, polka dots, but this is your creation, so you can add whatever you want. It does not have to be realistic. Um, I'm going to add maybe... A border here to my butterfly wing 
And then again, I'm going to try to do a mirror image on the other side. Shoop, shoop, shoop. I didn't lock it in the middle like paper. Oh my god, that's so good. Maybe I'll put some polka dots like a ladybug on here. And a lot of times what's really cool is like on butterflies, they will have, you'll see these big dots right here. Have you ever seen ones that have like this on them? Yeah. Do you know what that's for? To make them look like bigger bugs so in, so um, predators don't eat them. Yeah, they look like eyes. Those look like eyeballs. Okay. And so if a predator sees it, it thinks that it's something, they're looking at something bigger than what it is because the wings actually look like those are the eyes. I think that's pretty cool. I'm going to put like a little shape around that too. But like I said, this is your bug. That's a really big bug. I don't it's think a that's a bug. bug. I don't think that's a bug. No? I'm it gonna put so big. I'm gonna put some stripes on the abdomen you know here. Saying, that's so big. I know. Alright, so now I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna add a little texture to the eyes here. Like this, just a couple lines going across. Like that. Make it look a little more realistic. Realistic. Maybe I'll put a maybe I'll put a few more spots down here. But the patterns and texture are what really make this look cool. And once you've got your insect drawn, just go back in and make sure that you've got all your parts and it looks like it's pretty balanced. Okay, here we have our third leg right here. I'm going to show you what the kids are doing. I got, I'm getting one half of my insect done. All right, okay, here we have my drone insect, half of it done. Cool. So he's going in, a, in another direction. It's almost like a steampunk bug. And we talked about steampunk when we did our fish, too. We'll have to do a lesson soon about steampunk, um, where you see it looks uh, kind of mechanical. You've got all these, like, functioning machinery parts in there. Very cool. I had to Mary. restart, but this you, is Where's the so other far. one you did? I love the other one that you were working on. I was restarting. Oh, that's cute. Up. Where's the other one, though? I want to see. It looks so good. I did restart. So I was working on this one. Oh, cool. Oh, these are so cute. Look at the hands. I don't know. On and the then front I was legs. working on this one, but I realized that this isn't in that minimum paper, so I can't Oh, okay. Ones. All right. Well, we can always erase, too, but I liked your first one. That was really cute. This one's got some expression on her face, Okay, too. I'm getting a circuit board on. All right. Let's see ahead. Malcolm's. So the dog head, the robot dog head. <laughs> oh, my and gosh. That is a dog head. <gasps> and, and oh. the, uh, is this a dog bug? Yeah, a dog, the antenna is the big robot. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do like a big pipe between. Oh his. wow, you got quite an imagination, kiddo. All right, so we're gonna get coloring, and we can also add a background to these too. The ones that you saw on the student examples, you saw some really cool backgrounds in there. So it doesn't have to be in nature. You could put it on a leaf or a tree, but you could put it, one person put it in the middle of a city. You can put your bug anywhere. So when you're done coloring and drawing, you can do a background if you want to. All right, so we'll speed this up. to do before I start coloring is to trace everything with either a black skinny 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 sharpie marker um, usually the ultra fine point we don't have any ultra fine point we've just got the fine point which I think are a little too fat for this project so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trace everything with a black colored pencil and it's just gonna make it kind of pop out a little bit more
all done. There's my beach bug. Blends into the beach. And Baba, you want to hold yours up so I can see? This is called the ant of water. The ant of water. Okay. And Max, what did you do today? I do this. I do this. <laughs> Let's see what I Mary do did. I do a rainbow bug. And it has like mermaid and a unicorn horn. Oh, turn it around so I can see. Oh, that's so cute. So before... And then Jonah... Before I show you it, I, I, before I was waiting, I did some doodles. Yeah, you did some doodles while you were waiting. Got, Those are pretty I cool. I got a tree spider, and this is just a doodle. I thought it was so, tree Freddy. Okay. Or Freddy. Yeah, it was All right, so let's see what you did for your insect. It's a drone insect, because I've been messing Turn with drones. Turn it so we can see it. That's awesome. Our drone head with our mandibles, kind of, and then our eye, kind of. We have, like, it was on my drone, the one, the, the crappy drone, not the one. It's kind of like an antenna. We have some of those, like, stag beetle kind of horns on this. Uh -huh. We have the drone quad, the quadcopter propellers. We have a giant saw. We have a giant saw. And then we have a, a kind of, like... Nerf gun blaster oh, thing. Okay. We have a circuit board. We have some kind of claw legs. We have some gears. We have lots of wires to separate the abdomen, abdomen by from the other thing. <laughs> the th abdomen's the end part. The thorax is the middle. Oh uh, yeah, the thorax and the abdomen. Yeah. We have some rock boosters and we have some more propellers. Cool. Hold it up so I can see it real good. <laughs> Neat. This is the half one that I All right, guys. You want to get in there, Bubba? Say goodbye. Let's go. Come on, Max. Come on, you're All right. Hope you guys get out and enjoy the weather and check out some really cool insects. We'll see you next time. Bye. 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 Stag Beal says bye, too.